Hey traders, this is Forex James, and here's a weekly analysis on the upcoming week of July 22nd to 28th. Just wanted to do a quick overview on the 16 pairs that I mostly trade. And we'll start off with the Australian dollar here. As you can see, the market has been trending to the downside. The bears made another push. It's losing its steam. It's falling into a range. Okay. To this high that engulf this high and the second time it tried to push down it failed to make a new low so this is a confirmed range that we have on the Australian dollar this looks like a horizontal or rectangular range my direction bias would still be to the downside okay so in the range Usually, we'll be able to uh, sell at the top or buy at the bottom. Pound dollar, similar story, but the pound has lost more of its value compared to the Australian dollar. We're in a downward channel here. Okay. See how the wick just touched this line very nicely. Um, we're headed to the upside, however, so just keep an eye on the uh, area over here. Could potentially be a, a selling point. Dollar yen. We're headed back down to retest this area here. This was a um, level where it was previously resistance broken and price is probably headed back down here blue represents um, buying opportunities and the brown represents selling opportunities okay this looks a bit like the Australian dollar it's fallen into a range okay this looks more like a triangle to me than a um, rectangular range so same thing in the range, um, be on the lookout when price approach the, uh, the top or the bottom level of the range. Dollar CAD, big move after I think it was the CPI on Friday. Um, uptrend, 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 slowing down. Okay, could potentially continue the uptrend. Here's a nice PRZ here. Okay. Other than that, this looks like um, dollar cat has fallen into a range as well. Could be the uh, descending triangle range here. Regardless there may be some good buying opportunities around here dollar franc okay big uptrend since um, the beginning of the year it slowed down it's failed to make a, a higher high basically on the daily that's telling us something okay it's on its way to retest the bottom of this uh, triangle range here. That being said, I'm looking out for a potential bounce off here. Australian Kiwi. Big downtrend. Price seems to have changed its direction. Do you guys agree on that? Big break of the trend line here. It's also made um, a new high compared to uh, the previous swing highs here. Okay. However, the pullback was rather strong here. This looks like a range to me. There you go. Horizontal range. There is another range within this range, which is uh, on the H4.
but the bigger picture still tells us that we're in a range on the daily as well. There you go. Australian Yen. This is obviously a range, right? It's yet to uh, break out of it. It's been going on for some time, guys. Imagine the power of this uh, move, of the breakout. Imagine the momentum that's gonna that will take off at the break of these range here. It's gonna be a strong one. It's consolidated for a long time now. So basically, right now we're still in a range. Um, where does it look like it's gonna break to? Probably to the upside. Okay, I can't tell right now. Doesn't matter. When we're near the uh, the levels of the breakout, then we'll wait for price to tell us what to do. Okay, that's what we do as traders. We analyze and we react to price. You may be able to predict what price would do sometimes, but again, we should always wait for price to tell us what to do. Okay. The longer you trade, you develop your own intuition to what price will do. Cat Frank, we are in range on the H4. If we break the highs here, we may head further to the upside. Okay. This is a, a pullback of the big move to the downside okay I'm looking at this as a more of a bullish move from this point and that this may be just a pullback of the last uptrend here we'll see what price would do Euro Aussie Nice range on the H4. Just have to figure it out and draw the line where the price touches it the most. Okay. If I were to uh, have a direction bias, it's going to be to the upside. Okay, just because of how deep this pullback is, right? Compared to this whole move to the downside, this is more than a uh, 61.8 retracement That may mean that price is actually turning to the upside Next is the cat yen I'm seeing this pattern here on the weekly chart Could be a triangle Okay, so then we so there may be some trade opportunities to get short over here. Euro yen. Okay, this looks like price is headed to the upside. It's broken the highs here. Okay. Gonna look for a place to uh, pull back to. Probably right around there or further down. I have an upside bias for this pair. Pound Aussie. It's losing its direction here. Right? Price made a pullback. Can't figure out what to do. Dips lower. Pay attention to this level here. Okay. There is plenty of liquidity here, plenty of stops here. I wouldn't be surprised if price just heads the upside and takes out the stops here. Okay. Till then, um, this looks like we're in a range right now. Pound CAD, quite similar. 
but it's more obvious that it's fallen to a range. Okay. Pound yen. Let's analyze this down move here, okay? Deep pull back, the bears won, made a new low. Pull back, fail to make a new low. Try to make a new high. Went past this point, but did not surpass this point. So the bears are still in control. We're in a range. Watch out and see if price is able to break the lows here. Okay. Last pair on the uh, Kiwi dollar. This is similar to the uh, Australian dollar. Fall into a range here. Okay guys, that marks the uh, last pair. All 16 pairs have been covered. Um, thank you for spending time on watching this video. Hopefully you'll find some insights and feel free to use this analysis as your roadmap as well for the upcoming trading weeks activity. Okay, so good luck in your trading and stay safe. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Yeah.